This time I'm heading back into the Torridon Mountains, but on the lesser visited and more barren north side of Ben A. I go for one final freshwater snorkel of the year, which turns out to be pretty cold. I'm Fergus. This is the middle of nowhere. It is a glorious mid-October day with all of the browns and oranges and yellows and reds and greens that you would expect from a glorious mid-October day. Could be the last really good day that we have, although tomorrow looks all right. So I have come back going up Ben A in Torridon because last time I had so much weight on my back just for carrying the camping gear, but primarily carrying the paraglider. But I couldn't do one other thing that I wanted to do up here, which was spend considerably more time up on the mountain and go for a snorkel in a particularly enticing little loch, which is on the west face, the northwest face really, of the mountain. So that's where I'm going today. The water at this time of year it's going to be cold because the nights are getting down up at that altitude to about five degrees so that's probably how warm the water is going to be but that means also that it will be clearer so hopefully it'll be a, uh, a really nice set of conditions for my last high altitude freshwater snorkel this year remains of burrows made by invertebrates, probably worms of some description, hundreds of millions of years ago. There's a nice one. See the, those are the burrows as they went down into the rock. from the main ridge of Bernay, which is up over there, uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's in a wonderful location, a strange location, just up on a saddle between two peaks. And it is cold. Two minds whether this is such a good idea. But I've brought both my wetsuits, the standard four millimeter wetsuit, and then this big old seven millimeter diving wetsuit, which 
is uh, falling apart, but still offers a lot of insulation. So let's see what's in the depths of this area. I don't think I'm gonna last very long because I didn't bring my neoprene socks. It's pretty painful on the feet. Feel them. Oh. The rest of me is okay. Oh. Well, that was certainly uh, pretty, but it was so bloody cold. Oh. Dizzy. Dizzy from the Freezing cold water. Now the clouds have come in as well. Damn it. The plan was to take loads of pictures when the sun was going down with some nice evening light. It might still happen, but it's looking unlikely. Finally starting to feel my toes again. It's about two hours since I've been in the water. One of the disadvantages of taking pictures in the best light, even though I didn't actually get the light I wanted this evening, but it was okay. Got some potential images that were nice, but the disadvantage is that uh, I gotta walk down the mountain in the dark. It's not the first time. I have in fact walked down many mountains in the dark. One thing that I do want to try and do though is get over this uh, very stark and barren area without any trails um, before I can't see the horizon or any of the distant landmarks because navigation is much much easier when I can see those. And once I'm on the trail then I can put my torch on and walk down the rest of the way. The big advantage now of not camping up here, even though I have to walk down in the dark, is that I have a nice cozy camper waiting for me 
right at the bottom of the mountain. It's straight into the sleeping bag and a hot water bottle. Uh, very nice night. 